Good afternoon, ladies and gents. This is the beginning of May. It's uh, the second here. So we're closing in. It is schoolie season. Uh, probably our favorite time of the year. Yeah. You know, after a long winter, uh, a lot of trout have been caught, but I'm kind of over it at this point. Uh, so smallmouth and largemouth are, are great, but schoolie season is upon us. I absolutely love it. Pulling out the light tackle, fishing the back bays and estuaries. It's kind of uh, the striped bass for uh, for the joes, you know. Everybody time. can pull out like a big freshwater rod and go through a little popper, some soft plastics, and have an absolute blast with these guys. He's not lying. You know, I think we've pretty much done like our top five, and it seems like every year we add a couple. Yeah. Um, but our our top five lures, maybe some stuff that you don't use on the the, the daily, and then uh, some absolute staples as well. Uh, I'm gonna start off with my absolute favorite, the bucktail. So we got, I think this is three quarter. You know, for school use, uh, I think most people are gonna range from half ounce to three quarter, maybe even to one ounce that I, I've got here. This is a little glow, spro, anything in the kind of the white. I got the sand deal here in the three quarter as well. Um, you know, for bigger stripers, some of these things, these hooks aren't the best, you know. Um, and stripers are very ambitious. Even a schoolie will hit, you know, like a one ounce andrus. This is, you know, the jetty casters. And then uh, if you get in that slightly bigger fish, maybe throw in a slightly bigger lure, we get, it'll kind of deliver, you know? Yeah. And this has got a much higher quality hook on it. The way is the only color you need, and eight bucks. Eight bucks. For something like this, I've got some of these that lasted, you know, four years through many a bluefish. I swear he uses like, a whole uh, spool of thread on the bucktails, you know, nice and uh, bulky here. So these things are um, are a lure that will serve you well for years to come. Jake, what are uh, uh, what are your, some your favorites? We'll stay on the bottom. Mm. You know, mid water. Yep. Good old savage gear eel. Yeah. Four ninety nine. You get the head and the extra tail. Yep. It seems like one of my first schoolies every year is caught on this. Yeah. It's so simple to fish. Anybody can use it. It's probably why. I use it so much. Not yeah. Gonna lie. <laughs> um, you know, a little bit of super glue, you're good to go. This will last a long time. Yep. Pretty um, nice size hook there too. A hundred percent. You know, for for a three quarter ounce. Yeah. Jig head, you know, that's pretty good. And single hooks. Big yeah. fans of single hooks, even though I got a bunch of trebles here. Yep. But we'll get into that later. Hmm. Staple again, the Hopkins shorty. Shout out to Matt. Yep. This thing's just great. I mean, yeah. You can cast it a mile, three quarter ounce. This little white bucktail action on the back really adds to it and it's so easy to use again yep. i can give this to a five-year-old say go cast cast out steady retrieve yeah and it's working for you so that is kind of my two that i always start to throw and push people towards because they they're fish catches yep. single hooks yeah they're pretty affordable yeah pretty affordable. i think 11.99 pretty, that's a fact pretty good yep pretty good. white bucktail is uh, that and the single hook that just sells me on those guys um I see Jake's got some trebles. I do as well. I think that um, I can speak for both of us. So we'll pull out the pliers before we fish these things and just crimp down the barbs. You know, most of my schoolie lures are really used for schoolies and that's pretty much it. You know, if I'm targeting bigger fish later into July and the rest of the summer, I'm probably going to throw a little bit bigger stuff. So I don't really worry about losing a big fish on one of these days someday because, um, because I crimp the barbs down on it. Uh, and some of these schoolies will uh, release themselves when you get them on the beach with the yeah. crimp barbs. This is the Rapala Skitter Walk. This is a little white bone, kind of pearlescent color. Uh, awesome schoolie lure. Most of these uh, Rapala products come with VMC hooks too. So for uh, apples versus apples, these things are rigged up pretty well. And um, also awesome little topwater bass lure too. You know? These things cast like a rocket with a light rod. Um, and they just walk the dog. I absolutely love the little spooks for, uh, for top water. Pencils work well, but um, you can work these things a lot slower. And I think that there's a lot of good options for, uh, for a top water bait of this size, you know? 100%. Another honorable mention why I got me spieling. Tsunami Title Pro. This thing yeah. absolutely slayed it for me last year. $8.99, doesn't break the bank. You know, um, definitely I think it's you know, a little bit more targeted towards like reds, a little bit smaller, less aggressive fish. But for stock cooks, they're not horrible. Um, you know, these schoolies are thrashing hard and our pliers are tough. So, you know, maybe VMC is down the line eventually, but for out of the package, um, she casts really well. And then 
for a little bit bigger option, uh, maybe if casting distance is paramount or uh, you just gotta, you know, you're getting a little bit bigger fish. These are 1399, the Head and Super Spook XD. Um, pretty solid hooks on these. One ounce, this is definitely gonna be the longest casting out of the three options that I chose. And this bone color is really the only color you need, right? He's not lying. Bone. He's talking about casting distance though. Mm. So you know what I'm gonna bring out. Mm. <laughs> the band of angle is right here. This is the Flying Pencil 110. So this is super long distance. You can use this really easily, to be honest with you. It's, yeah. I think it's one and a half ounces, yep. maybe one yep. or three quarter ounce. Yeah, so I like can that. cast it a mile. Yeah. And it's not, it doesn't feel wicked heavy, so I can even lob it pretty far right. on a lighter rod. Yep. One hook on the back, it is a treble. I know people that switch it to a single. Yep. Again, casting sometimes with these fish is the key. You've got to have something a little heavier just to get that extra 15 yards out there. Yep. This thing will get that done for me. So I always keep one in my bag. It's not something I use all the time, but situational. If I need to get yes. an extra 15 yards, I'll tie this on and throw it mm -hmm. an extra 15 yards. Right. Keeping it top water again. I can get the hooks out. Shout out Tsunami. We love the Tidal Pro. Yeah. Love it. This is a little talking papa. Yep. Great. A staple in the game again. I want to say how much? Like $8.99? Yeah, something like that. Like Ten, you know, under ten, ten bucks. Under, yeah, under ten bucks. The amount of fish I've caught on these is incredible. Yeah. They last and they really cast far again. Something yeah. that in the poppers and spooks is really important to get that extra casting distance out there. Top, I mean, my top water's done. Yep. I'm gonna keep going. Yeah. I've had too much. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to something new. I tried them last year. I had some good success. This is the Nomad Vibe. This color is just incredible. To be honest with you, it looks like yeah. a herring. It looks like a all kinds of little bait fish we've got running around here. Chubs, the profile fits everything that right. the stripers are looking for. Yeah, the size is definitely right. And super easy to cast and fish with, kind of like a lipless crankbait type deal. You can yo-yo it, but straight retrieve does the job. BKK stock hooks on it. I love it. Fish it fresh water too, especially the last couple of weeks here when the herring have been coming in. Yeah. Look for me to be throwing this because it's been working, I'll tell you that for free. Yep. And I'll go mag daughter. <laughs> Small mag daughter fits the profile. Everything we're looking for. Little chubs in the back, killy fish, you name it. Yep. It's there. Super easy to use again. Cast it out. Fish it like an SP. I do love this in little estuaries where there's a lot of current because you can really get it to work pretty well. Yeah. And it, it just really is a staple. Little snack size. Again, we're not looking for something too big for these fish. They're just looking for a snack. And yep. bone can't beat it in my opinion. Absolutely. So, the little staple. Yep. And uh, casting well by uh, by design instead of weight. I will add that uh, those flying pencils also come in a sinking and a floating too. So maybe if your rod isn't rated for that, you can find like a happy medium, mm -hmm. there, you know? Yeah, I do have a meat stick for the schools. Yeah, that Half legend pounds. extreme. If he bl if he blinks, I'm taking it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe something that most people don't think about. I, I know this is made, um, Jake's schoolie pick in previous years, but in previous years we didn't have these guys. Mm -hmm. So, um, ounce and a half, this is a four inch bait. Um, this epoxy jigs cast like an absolute rocket. Uh, imitating these small sand eels, creek chubs with the bone color, uh, and then the squid that have shown up in the last mm -hmm. week with this pink. Um, a lot of times when I buy these, the intention of using them for stripers, I will add a little fly teaser. So like maybe a little pink bucktail, and some like artificial squid tentacles from our fly department. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'll pretty much always put a little white bucktail on the bone, maybe a little flash in there. I just think it kind of dresses them up. If, uh, if it doesn't make the fish bite it more, it definitely, you 100%. know, it definitely hooks me. You know I what I mean? Remember there was a day, three days, three days ago, three years ago, when mm. McPee had a little thing, a little squid tail on the back of it. Yep. I stole it from him. I yep. caught a bunch of fish. Ever since then, I've been sold. Yeah. And we make these. These are designed by the boys. These are designed by the boys. By the boys. Color the approved by the boys. Exactly. Color approved, you know, the mighty fish yeah. hard tail. Yep. Buy yeah. them. Look out for them because. I mean, these are some. I really do preach to the choir about uh, BKK hooks. They're just the best I've ever used. I'm just uh, blown away by them. So the fact that we can get something like this um, with the schoolies, you know, it makes it easy catch and release. 
and between this and maybe the SLD, these are probably the longest casting lure sure. up here for sure, for you know, sure. without being super heavy. So like your average um, inshore rod is gonna have no problem with launching these things an absolute metric mile. And you mentioned BKK. Yeah. This is probably our what, third season yep. of really using BKK. Yeah. How many hooks you changed this off season? Dude, I am, uh, I'm going to SPs. Like I've never had SP minnows last a quarter of a season. Mm -hmm. Like re honestly, you know, I have so many VMCs at home because I'm just used to rehooking them and resplit raining them. Um, you know, two years with uh, Raptor Z's on SP mm -hmm. minnows. And that's, that's saying something. And they look mint. They just look like a gunmetal gray. There's no rust. No. Yeah, nothing. no rust. They're super strong. Um, I like, you know, the Raptor Z, like the hook style. I feel like it clears the barbs better, so it's easier for me to catch and release. And um, I'm just blown away. Really, I can't say no. Boom. There you go. You Boom. know? Had to get it out of my it. Last, my last, yeah, my last list off plastic, the Light Ron Z. These are like the inshore jig heads. Um, pretty solid hook. This silver metallic color, it really in all the sizes is lights out for me. Uh, but the amount of confidence I have with this in the six inch and the eight inch is uh, is vast, you know. And it's uh, Ron Z's Cape Cod staple, 100%. and 100%. you know, just rep them every chance I got for the deal. Ooh, the for deal. the deal, the deal. These tidal baits, this tsunami again. Little four inch pearl jobs, a little paddle tail. Four inch is perfect for freshwater use too, so you can get a little bit more uh, multi species use out of them. Look, three ninety nine for a six pack. These guys. I need again to do the super glue trick like Jake was talking about with the the uh, Savage Gear. These things will last a million years. Um, That's the deal. Three and a These uh, Z-Man Jake heads. Uh, these are three eighths ounce, but they definitely have like a one ounce hook in them. These things are <laughs> pretty <laughs> heavy duty. Yeah. Uh, really solid bait keeper. This is a six aught hook in these little ones. Again, I don't need uh, super heavy fish in these schoolies, but it's always nice to have a hook that's built stouter than what you need it for. Um, and I would rig these guys with the Title Pro and that's absolute schoolie slammer for 100%, me. 100% you know? for like a dollar. A yeah. dollar a rig basically. Yeah, a dollar a rig. Yeah. You, you know, can, you can and with the super glue, yeah. you know, that could be, you know, 30 fish. 100% easy. You know, like a whole week. Yeah. You, can, you could just leave this on 100%. and just slam schoolies after work every day and you're fine. Yeah. Not... You know? Boom. That's the deal. And you can fit in your waders, travel light, just have a blast. <laughs> yeah. Or your bobcats. Yeah, exactly. I miss my epoxy. We would get too juiced up over our own. Mm. But Daiwa, honorable mention. Yes. The Zarkana. Yep. Scrambled egg. It's just a nice pattern. We yep. kind of mentioned it about epoxies. You can cast them. But this doesn't have BKK hooks, so. Ooh, Whatever. brutal. Now talking to BKK hooks, I got this on a little, what is this, a little Z-Man. Zero Z2. Firstly, love this bait, stretchy. Yeah, that Z Man tech. But the BKK hook, incredible, incredibly sharp. A little underspin. Yeah, don't always fish the underspin, but for schoolies, anything that attracts them, I'll use it because yeah. why not? It's nice, good time. Yep, if I'm not trying to throw a little Z Man underspin, we're going to the man, the myth, the legend, Bill Hurley. Yeah. Wow, these squids, cast them a mile, comes rigged with two already rigged up. Yeah. So easy to use, and 1099 for the yeah. pack of four, that's... They cast, great for self plastic. I love them. Um, I fish the big ones out at Monomoy. They just, he does this like tangerine with the flake, mm -hmm. it's just, mwah. Mm -hmm. And uh, he actually does one that's even smaller, that's really more designed for Albies, but would be an awesome schoolie lure as well. So, you know, Bill Haley's the man. 100%. It's a G. I think we're kind of wrapping it up. Yeah, I think we're kind of wrapping it up. Um, let us know what your favorite schoolie lures are, what you're throwing this week. Um, let us know how juiced up you are for schoolie season, the salt water heating up here. Um, tight lines. Have a great day, you guys. Peace. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Our right, money bag is going to come fish you spots. <laughs> we're going to post we it can't everywhere. Be. Your spots are my spots. You just don't know yet. Boom. Peace. Pow. <laughs> nice.